I'm Stephanie Stahl, CBS News, Philadelphia. Absolutely amazing. From the heart of Philly, this is CBS News Philadelphia. Right now at 6, fears of flooding all across the region. Several rounds of rain have been falling throughout the day, and we are not done with the downpours just yet. Once we get through the rain, the heavy heat comes back full force. We're here to keep you prepared and, of course, protected. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And hi everyone, I'm Jessica Cartalia with Summer Beat and we are here in Wildwood Crest. But Yuki, you mentioned that flooding and I want to get right to that. The weekend is getting off to a very wet start down the shore. One round of storms already rolled through here this afternoon, leading to some flooding in Cape May. Lightning also struck an antenna behind City Hall. The deputy fire chief tells us the lightning strike damaged some electronics inside of City Hall, so the building was closed for the rest of the day. The goal is to reopen City Hall on Monday. Next weather, as we know, means no surprises. So let's get right over to Chief Meteorologist Bill Kelly with more on this weather that we're having. Bill. Yeah, Jess, there's a lot of places down the shore that have already picked up an inch to two inches of rain. Let's keep it on the flooding theme here. I want to show you where the latest flood watches and warnings are. So flood watch is in effect for the I-95 corridor, pretty much a majority of our area with the exception of our far western zones. But down the shore locations, that flood warning remains until 615. And this is where we've had the heaviest of all the rain. At this moment, we are seeing some rain around the region, but the overall picture I don't see as heavy in terms of the cells as we had earlier on. So we are getting some moderate to light rain, but there's much more to come. As you mentioned, look down into parts of Southern Virginia, down into North Carolina. All this is making its way on up. So if you have a lull right now, take advantage of it because later this evening we are going to be seeing these showers and the potential for storms. The severe weather risk tonight. The severe risk is low, but the storm risk is there. It's the non severe, the general thunderstorms category for our entire area, the entire region for tonight for tomorrow, and they even have us in there for Sunday. I think the chance of storms on Sunday is going to be fairly low, but we're going to we're going to watch it definitely tonight and tomorrow with these temperatures staying in these mid to upper 70s. It's pretty sticky outside, certainly not hot, but it's enough that we're going to continue to see these storms fuel and our weekend forecast. We're going to 87 tomorrow that range through about tomorrow night at this time. We'll see things taper off, but then Sunday we open up the door for our third heat wave of the season and it is going to be one that is very hot already. Heat advisories in effect. Says of heat watches in effect as well. We'll talk about that coming up in just a few minutes. Back over to you. Everybody, thank you. And make sure you are prepared for all of the rain. Just go to cbsphiladelphia.com slash weather to get the next weather forecast for the next three minutes, for three hours, or even three days and more. Well, Philadelphia judge has denied a union's request to block Mayor Parker's mandate for city workers to return to the office full time come Monday. CBS Philadelphia reporter Dan Snyder comes to us now from City Hall with more on this breaking development. Dan. In 76. Thank you so much for watching. More news coming up at 8 o'clock on Philly 57. I'll join you then and we'll all be back here at 11. Jess. You, it literally just stopped raining, <laughs> so it should be a nice night here in Wildwood. Fingers crossed. Good to see you guys. All right. Good to see you, Tommy G, everyone down there on our crew. Thanks so much, and thank you for watching on our streaming channel. We'll be back in just a bit here on CBS Philadelphia. Stay tuned for the evening news with Nora O'Donnell. We'll see you tonight, fam. Take care. Breaking news. Case dismissed.